In problem number five of Appendix A, we're given a particle whose position is described by the parameterized curve, which is also the same parameterized curve as in problem number one. Um, we're asked to find the components of both the velocity and the acceleration of the particle at time equals two, measured in seconds, and also asked to find the speed of the particle at the same time, uh, t equals two. So we can write the position of the particle at time t as the vector x of t, y of t. Now, the velocity is going to be um, velocity vector. It's going to be the derivative of each component of the position vector. So this will be x prime of t, y prime of t. Now, x prime of t is 2t. And y prime of t is just 5. So we can, uh, well, next, let's just write out the acceleration vector, which is just the derivative of the, um, of the velocity vector. Uh, so take the derivative of the first component, we have 2. And the second component is just 0. All right. So we want to evaluate each of these at time equals 2. So v of 2 is going to be 2 times 2, or 4, comma 5. So what this is saying is that in the x direction, we're removing uh, 4, whatever, our, our, uh, whatever unit we're measuring our distance is. Let's just say meters. We'd be moving 4 meters per second in the x direction and 5 meters per second in the y direction. And well, the acceleration is constant at 2, 0. So the acceleration at time 2 is also going to be just 2, 0. Now, speed is defined to be the magnitude of uh, the velocity. So uh, speed at 2 is so the magnitude of the velocity at 2. Now, this is going to be magnitude of 4, 5. So it be the square root of 4 squared plus 5 squared, which is equal to the square root of 16 plus 25, or square root of 41. 